have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. If we're going to do a cool video, Mike Galangelo revisiting on the map loop here. And uh, you'll be really surprised of how this thing operates. But before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the subscribers and the supporters of the channel if you like what we're doing here and what we could do better. And if you want to let us know what we could do better, leave a comment below. And as always, thank you guys at 2,000 subs. I'm going to go a uh, free premium DD giveaway. So let's get right to it. Um, I actually had my doubts about the Michelangelo and... I just played a game, and I actually might have to revisit this thing and see maybe they buffed it, or what did they do differently, or I don't, I don't know. I don't think they buffed it in just recently. However, uh, my review was a little critical of the Michelangelo, but for, for good reason. Um, the biggest thing I think right now, to sum up this video, TLDR, the Michelangelo operates very well at Tier 9 and below. I would say as long as you're not up-tiered, this thing operates great, which it should be. Tier 9 should play with Tier 9 and so forth. When you're playing with Tier 10 and Super Ships, I think it struggles a bit. I think Napoli is a better choice still. However, I gave a little doubt with uh, Michelangelo in my last review, saying that this thing just is not that, it's kind of average, not as great. But when it's playing with it uh, where, where it belongs, um, it, it really works. Now, I thought it had something to do with the armor, but if you, I'll throw a screenshot up. But if, if you take a look at the armor, it's kind of really similar, comparable to the Napoli. It's nothing too drastic or different the only big difference is where the gun the main gun batteries are located and that was the downside of the uh, michelangelo well you know napoli at least the guns are in the front and the main battery guns but the the guns on the michelangelo as you can see here are located in the middle the center and you do have to provide a lot of broadside in order for to get all those eight guns to uh arms or to uh, get all of them to shoot i mean you're giving up like 36 degrees i believe and uh, it, it's uh, just, let me just double check my numbers there. Yeah, Michelangelo, main battery, yeah, 38 degrees actually to get both guns on to get you shooting. And you got to expose a little broadside now. The, 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 the bread and butter of this thing is the secondaries. Look at all the secondaries fire there. You're just obliterating everything. Great dispersion. It's got a good sap secondary H, uh, hitting a, a DPM. One of the best. Uh, right up there. Um, the second place comes in Napoli, of course. Uh, Napoli is uh, second place to the Michelangelo regarding hitting DPM. Um, Napoli, I feel like it has a fast reload, but unfortunately, I don't think it has as many guns. Or um, is it getting enough shells on target that the Michelangelo seems to be superior at? And I don't don't know why. It just maybe has a little bit more guns. And boom, splash one. This would be one of many kills in this game. So enjoy it in the background. Uh, but the Michelangelo, yeah, I think I thought it was the armor, but the armor, like I said, is identical to Napoli. Um, I think the reason being is you're playing against tier 10 and tier super 11 ships, where the guns just start overmatching everything. And it, it, at that point, it's just just sheer uh, volume of firepower. Ooh, nice shot right there. Splash two. Uh, second kill already in the first four minutes right there. And like I said, I don't know if that's just because the destroyer just was bum rushing or yellowing. I didn't have anything to do with those kills other than, hey, I took the last shot and got him. And again, you can see the power of those main battery guns. The sap main battery is the, the kick, kicker right here because Napoli, of course, doesn't have sap main guns which would help it out drastically i think um it's ap and he on the napoli is kind of fairly i would say mediocre uh, but ooh, nice shot right there the michelangelo actually has 320 millimeter guns that uh shoot sap dpm or sap second uh, sap shells and the ricochet angles are pretty incredible i mean you're, you're talking about 70 to 80 uh degrees of ricochet angle so no matter how i mean you have to literally angle your ship 81 degrees or plus in order to avoid these sap main battery guns which are really really powerful and they're 360 turrets i mean you can basically nose in these things turn left and right you don't have to turn the entire ship so really good aspect there and here's a submarine i'm not really sure what it's doing and thank god because i hate submarines you saw my last video i hate them with a passion and there you can see asw warfare right there uh, do i get a hit i mean i'm i'm dropping look how long it takes for you to drop a depth charge i mean what's the point of that i don't look at finally i get a hit one depth charge should destroy a submarine, I, I believe, guys. I, I don't know. I, I think it's just not right that you can have a submarine take literally like 20 depth charges, even though five shells that fired right into the the, the submarine or splash damage didn't do anything. But uh, here we go. Finally, he's stuck on an island. And we're going to go ahead and bomb the crap out of him because this is just the most satisfying part of the game right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Splash three. Thank goodness. That feels so good. To blow up a submarine but we're also getting torpor here so take a look at the turning radius here you slam on the brakes and turn not the it's a cruiser i mean what do you expect it doesn't turn as great but look it does absorb damage 
Yep, does the best we can. Uh, but what, what else are we talking about? So the biggest other thing uh, that I didn't like about it was the Michelangelo's uh, smoke cooldown was about 180 seconds, I believe, without any other buffs. And uh, the Na Napoli actually cool had a faster cooldown on the crawling smoke. So that was one uh, thing I liked about the Michelangelo, a little bit faster uh, crawling smoke. Again, uh, when you're playing against uh, tier eight, tier nine, this is actually kind of fun because you know you're playing against ships that are within your realm, and you're not getting just destroyed and overmatched by everything tier ten, eleven. Um, so now, take a look at this now. So if I go uh, get spotted, now I'm waiting for him to shoot. So there's a tactic right there. You get spotted, let the enemy shoot, then pop smoke. That reveals their position for about 20 seconds, I believe, whatever the cooldown is. And now we're going to shoot. And let's look at the half secondaries. This is the bread and butter of the ship here. But now the problem here, the Napoli secondaries go out to 11 if you build max secondaries for it. The Michelangelo only gets to 10.5. So that's why I thought it was kind of a bummer. It's like, wow, why don't you just make it just like the Napoli where you, you can go out a little further. But 10.5, okay, better than what we were used to before where it was just only like 7 or 8 or something. Now we can get out with a new buff to the commander skills. You can get out to 10.5. Napoli, of course, goes out to 11. I wish they would just give that a, that option just go out to 11. We're going to go turn around here. We're not going to actually uh, like brawl or push right in all the way to our death because I feel like we're a little overwhelmed over here right now. There's a little bit more enemy ships over here than there are uh, of our friendlies, so we're going to go ahead and just play it easy. And just look, at look. we're just trying to kite away. And uh, honestly, yeah, these shots right here. Now, if I was a Napoli, we would deflect this easy, but look at this. We, uh, that's not a good example. I think one of the shots actually connects with us pretty well. The superstructure is teeny. That's what another good thing about the Michelangelo that I do like about it. Very difficult to shoot that 19 millimeter superstructure. Uh, but uh, the Napoli, a little bit larger, but again, it was. It seems to be harder to kill a Napoli, especially if it's angled in. And I think that has to do with the better turret angles of the Napoli. You can nose in a little bit better. The secondary shoot a little bit better at long, uh, or is that a more angled? Um, display and let me see. We get ooh, nice first close quarters. By the way, that's a fourth kill splash four, and you're gonna see more and more of that. That the secondaries are just mopping up everybody. But like I said, the angling is really um, hit or miss with the Michelangelo. Again, I think it has something to do with just being overmatched by a lot of the big guns. But I've noticed it's tier ten and above. Napoli really can deflect a lot of those shells really well because you're angled in so much better. With the front two turrets, and of course, you also have a really good sec uh, secondary um, angle. So let me take a look at the Napoli. What are the Napoli's uh, secondary angles? Yeah, 20 degrees. You can angle 20 degrees into a target. That means you're only exposing 20 degrees of your ship, and all of the sap, se sap secondaries are connecting, and they're firing. So that's the one thing. So for Michelangelo, uh, Michelangelo's secondaries, you got to get, you got to expose uh, 66 degrees. I mean... 66 degrees of exposure is a lot to expose just to get the back turrets to fire. Um, but even if you just show maybe 30 degrees, 30 degrees-ish, you can get maybe six of those guns to fire. So that was the one downside I saw there, the Michelangelo. But again, uh, this this video is just displaying like what we can do with this thing. Now, I'm just grateful that this thing was uh, really just tier, tier 9, 8, and 7. Uh, that, that, that made it a little bit more easier to bear and deal with. Let's see, we take a shot here with saps to the sap shells. Now you gotta expose, see, you gotta expose a lot of broadside in order to get that that back turret of uh, the main battery to get. We do connect a little bit. Now we do have hydro, which is good because we've been spotting all these torpedoes heading our direction. Again, another good thing because you don't have tier 10 submarines or tier 10 destroyers that are launching torps like a madman that have really low detection and are really, really plentiful and fast. So probably one of the things I noticed when I was in Michelangelo, in a tier 10, tier 11, I was getting torped like a mother, and it, it was really frustrating because I had to just show so much broadside in all directions. I'm starting to play a little more conservative. Now, as you see, we're just circling the north end of the cap. Now, I'm not going to push into the southern end of the cap because I'll expose myself to a couple battleships I don't want to. Now, I'm saving the smoke right now because I, I, don't, I think I, could, I need it for the later engagement. I don't want to waste it and use it. Now we're switching to AP right there, and we connect. Do we get a Citadel? And usually, I've seen videos that guys shoot the AP on this thing, get some nice juicy Citadels, but the Sap still better, way better angle. Ooh, another one, Kraken Unleashed. That is our second close quarters expert right there with a Kraken right there. Look at that, five kills already. We've eliminated literally the majority of the team right there, and we're only what half the battle. So we still got to kill another five ships right here so um we know what well, since we're on a roll why don't we just keep it on going and have at it right now we're not going to rush to our death again we're going to slow down wait for this um what is this colorado 
Yeah, Colorado. I'm not too afraid of Colorado, but it is a big battleship, big caliber gun. So I'm going to slow down right here and um, just wait till we cap at least the, uh, the point first before we actually go. Now, the AA is, thank goodness it's a Yorktown. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of uh, Tier 8 kind of CVs. So we're lucky in that regard, but when you play Michelangelo against tier 10 um, carriers, uh, I don't think the AA is going to help you or keep you alive that long, but it's surprising we get a lot of AA kills. You can see the top right screen there. Kraken with 79,000 HP, not really glamorous, but um, you know enough, it does what it has to do. Someone takes out the carrier, way to go, cancer is gone. Now we can actually push in a little bit better right here. So. Now, I want to show you some of the angling that um, I'm, I'm noticing in the Michelangelo. Again, this this is against Tier 8 now. Don't, don't quote me on this if this is Tier 10 or Super Ships. But the Colorado right here, let's see. We're going to launch a spread, nice torpedo spread. Of course, you only get three torpedos as opposed to Napoli gets four. Uh, look at that. Ten and a half kilometers second is going at it right there. Not the greatest uh, fire rate. They are slower than the Napoli. Uh, again, you notice I've been comparing the Napoli a bit more because that's the thing that I... Um, I'm using to compare the SAP secondary style cruiser gameplay, and the Napoli is the closest thing that comes to this. Michelangelo, as you see, I can't use any of the main battery guns. Uh, all I got is those front two turrets that are for secondaries only, and they're actually connecting pretty well and doing somewhat of a decent damage. And you can see all the uh, other SAP secondaries. Now, look, I'm just exposing a little bit more to get all those guns. You got 68 degrees, like I talked about earlier. And here comes the main battery. Let's see what kind of damage you can do with it. Yeah, 6,000. Not, nothing to gawk at. So even though he's angled, I mean, man, those those batteries, uh, main batteries, are really de devastating uh, with sap secondary shells. Do we get this kill, actually? Come on, let's get this kill. Give us a number six right here. Give us a six. Oh, man, this is difficult. Okay, let's fire one more salvo into him right there. Boom, splash six. There it is, our six kill. My goodness. And we have another target on our left there. And uh, notice that the um, the guns do really fairly decent, especially when you're within your uh, your detection range, and you see the commander perk activating right there. And you see, I don't have all the guns. I only got one gun uh, ready to go at this point. Again, I'm too nervous to expose too much of my broadside there, so I'm just holding off. I'm gonna keep the smoke going. You notice I'm not firing until I get all these sap secondaries, and then my smoke goes down. This is when I'll take the shot right there. There's my uh, first shot. Expose a little bit more broadside right there. See if I could shoot the back turret. Uh, nope, not too scared. Uh, he is now angling. I'm going to have to angle on the, against these torpedoes right here. And hopefully our sap secondaries can finish him off. Ooh, is he going to go for a ram? Holy cow. Come on, secondaries, front turrets, do something. And we do have torpedoes in case we need to back up. And boom, look at that. Our seventh kill with the front secondary guns. Hilarious, right? Those front, front secondary guns act like main turrets to me. And that's what you got to do with the Michelangelo. It's really kind of nerve-wracking to be pushing in with no front battery guns uh, other than, you know, your secondary guns. Pretty hilarious. Seven kills, 122,000 damage. Only five minutes and 56 seconds left in the game. Now, again, do I like this ship? Again, now that I've revisited it, um, it is fun. It's, but the only downside is you got to be at your tier level. Like, if you are up tier, this thing is really difficult to play at tier 10 and above. Um it's just, man, this thing was fun for the the current level it's at right now in this gameplay video. But, man, it is, uh, I have to take a look at this. Like I said, I looked at it again, and this thing is actually monstrous. It's pretty fun. Uh, but, again, uh, the only disclaimer is it's got to be uh, not up tiered. Uh, I, again, like the the big things, let's recap about, ooh, can I get this ninth or eighth kill? Eighth kill? Come on, come on. Nice shot. Just waiting for him to give me more broadside. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, turn to the right. Now we send it full send. Oh, and we get a third, oh no, fourth close quarters expert, and that is how we win the game. Eight kills, 123,000 damage. Michael Angel, what do I like about the ship? The build is at the end of the screen if you like about it, but I like the, the main batteries are cool. They are they hurt a lot. The secondaries obviously are the must. I wish they would go out a little further. Um, maneuverability, decent, average. The smoke recloads a little bit faster, and that's what I like about it. Concealment's great, like always, and... Uh, th those are the big takeaways from it. Uh, the angles aren't as great. Like I said, those are the downsides. Again, this thing has to be playing at a lower tier or or at its level or below. But man, what do you guys think? Is this thing actually, now that we've re looked at it, revisited, is it actually a worthy contender um, at tier 9 and below or uh, tier 10 and above? Do you think you would pick this up? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks guys for all the support. Appreciate all uh, the, the, the nice words and you guys saying hi out there. And as always, you guys stay safe and we'll see you out there on the high seas. Take care. Cheers.